Hello everybody, this is ZigZagZug coming to you from somewhere in this world and uh, looks like it's Corrupted Haven Day here. We have this new Jericho Haven, Fort Churchill that we're going to see about taking over today and without wasting any further moments, let's get in here, excuse me, let's get in here and make it happen. It is extreme as they always are, but at least we're going in the daytime. Small favors right small favors and uh, let's go pick out the team that's gonna get going uh, we have more than enough to, to take out so it's really a matter of who are we gonna take out now I have a ton if you look at all the blue lines on this one there's a ton of injuries on the stray so I have a feeling of what we'll do is it take we'll take the far healthier or at least a bulk of the far healthier Banda's Bane soldiers and maybe fill in then with some of the stray soldiers uh, to fill in. Landon, I'm not taking you out because I don't want to spend, sorry, don't want to spend a whole turn healing you in case we got to get going quick and early. So I think if we do it this way, we have two heavies that should have uh, strong man and uh, we'll make sure they both have hell cannons to blast through anything that uh, is presented to us as far as a building where the corruption node is so uh, let's just get going and, and see what we have to deal with we have you Cecil with the harder hitting sniper get up here and I think we won't be spending any SP for you not to dip into the pool Frantios, you're going to take a break on this one same with you gandy paul forrest reynolds we will take you out i think we used to have a new jericho sniper rifle uh, on you i've upgraded you to the synedrian laser sniper rifle i switched it out with someone else who's not going on this particular mission and we're not going to spend the sp for you either you're 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 solid enough there actually we're whoa, since this is a hard hitting mission let's give you a little extra health how about that that sits well with me. In fact, we can pick up another ammo clip for the pistol. Landon, we're sitting you down. Same with Citizen Eileen. We are going to take Felipe. He happens to have the Danchev rifle. Loaded him up with backup grenades in case that comes in handy. And you're ready to go. Now the rest of the team, we got the uh, light sniper rifle. And we still would love to have more... Hmm. I'm wondering if for this particular mission, uh, just because you don't have quite enough willpower, I'm going to take the light sniper rifle away and just go with our basic Phoenix weapon here and play it that way. I think that, at least for this mission, I think that's, that's better for us. We're going to give that a go. Papillon, you do have your hell cannon. You do have boom blast. And you have uh, some rockets and grenades. So uh, we're ready to take you out. And as you can see, a lot of the Furies are coming available. So those other heavies that are missing a Fury, guess what? You're going to get one soon. And then as far as this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend two pool points just to give you another pop for Boom Blast. And Herr von Heisenberg von Herza, uh, we gave you some pants this time. Uh, we joined up that Sinidrian assault body armor with some regular Phoenix assault. So uh, you're a fully clothed, <laughs> fully clothed guy for this mission. We're going to give you a little extra will for dashing. Uh, Ramex, uh, we're going to switch off this Devastator. I can't remember if, because uh, you, you just can't afford to carry it all. We're going to get you with that Hell Cannon and go that way. So we have those of you that can bam through a wall if we need to to get through to a corruption node and gary the dollar we gave you as many spider drones as we can to try and be the the scouting part of this mission the safe scouting part of this mission so we uh, we don't have to worry about a, <laughs> one of us getting hurt i'd rather have a spider drone get hurt if you want my opinion and finally mark the hat we aren't taking you out on this one um uh, Yes, and we, we got you now with the Phoenix Sniper Rifle. So that's it. Items on this battlefield are automatically recovered. It's a tough one, as we know. So let's see if this team that we've chosen is up to the task. All 
Okay, we do see someone right off the bat, and it is a mind-controlled New Jericho person. But what I'm thinking is uh, we're going to send... Uh, this rooftop has uh, unpleasant memories <laughs> on this map before. So I think what we're going to do is uh, initially I'm going to dash up to this rooftop so we have maneuverability and we can move around and be aware that we want cover from this guy. But I want to see what's up on the roof so we know what we're dealing with at least here. And we can see a lot. We can see a lot. We got a guy right over here, which is a big, big threat. And uh, he's not facing us, so he can shoot out that window if we're unable to take away that mine fragger. We also have this miss sentinel here. And we have this guy that can shoot at us. Although, that's a little bit of a distance. So I'm not too concerned not too concerned about that one so maybe i come here i don't know because of that that thing in the wall if he'd be able to get a shot at our angle over here because it says i don't even see him from here either so i'm thinking i'm gonna come here we're gonna have cover against this guy we're gonna have a clear shot on the miss sentinel and hopefully a sniper will be able to get this guy on our side wouldn't that be nice. So, Felipe, H11, do your thing. Moving. Enemy ahead. And we're seeing more. Let's just go find out where this guy... Oh, he's close. Good job finding that guy. Good job. Everybody else is pretty far away. However, this guy is a sniper. And that's dangerous. So... Hmm... It says we'd have a shot against this thing from here. Do I dare trust it? I guess we come here. Of course, that gets you in line for this guy. So hopefully we have a, a sniper, an accurate sniper, who will be able to follow you up, Felipe. Let's come over here. I see them. Oh, my Lord. Let's see what kind this lady is. At least she's far away for the time being. It is a mind controller acid sprayer. And she'll probably frenzy these guys that are all around her too. So let's uh, let's take our initial shot. Let's see what it looks like with Engaging. a shotgun. No, not him. You know I like I don't like mist. Let's let's do this first. Oof. And it's not amazing, but I have a feeling it's going to be better than with this weapon. Yep, the potential damage, even if it scatters a little too much, we're taking the shotgun shot. Ooh, okay, so it did about what it said the acid weapon would do. Oh, that's not that's not good. I don't care so much about this Miss Sentinel in the back, but this one's like right in the way. I care about this one. I care. I really do. <laughs> um, born ready. And uh, we're probably gonna look at getting over here with you. And I think that's what that's that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna bring you up here. You're hidden, Gary. And I'm gonna count on you staying hidden. And we're gonna come right here and shoot our spider drones out here to see what else we can see. Because I'm not feeling too freaked out by what's on the roof. Now we see this guy, he's new, but he also can't see you right away. And if you set out spider drones, he's hopefully going to be more distracted by them than anything else. Holy smokes! There's a lot of guys out there. Although it kind of looks like they might be grenadable. <gasps> and then there's this thing. They can drive right down the road here. <laughs> and flank us out and... Machine gun us all. Oh, man. Wow. Let's see. Do you, have a, do you have a shot on this guy? What's his health look like? 150. He's, he's, he's beatable. 
if we can get a good shot on him at 150. Now our, our damage here is 120. So odds are a hitting shot isn't quite going to kill him. We're going to need a little help. We're going to need a little help. So Paul, let's come back here and take this shot. You have the most one of the most accurate weapons that we have a chance to use. You have decent will, so we're going to try the quick game. Because if things don't work out, I, I'm going to need you to move. Okay, and he's not bleeding out with that kind of health. But we don't need much more to take him out. Let's see who else we got up here. We've got you, Hermon. And if we dash you up there... We got to keep going. We're gonna try this cover. Oof. Maybe we'll try this cover. What do we got up high? We got that up high. Ooh, but we got a sniper up high, and that's not good cover against a sniper necessarily. That's like no cover at that angle. So let's at least try you here. Problem is your shot. Well, we'll try you a little bit off to the side. In fact, we'll try you right here, and hopefully we can see the Miss Sentinel. And, oh, there's Will. I wasn't expecting. Must have been downstairs underneath us. And we're going to need one more shot, unfortunately. Because boy, do I hate the Miss. We're going to take one step over for you. Uh, you know what we'll try? Let's take a look at what your pistol will do. Uh, we're we're going to try the pistol, though, because if it can get lucky enough to hit, then I don't have to bring someone else over. <laughs> Way to go, Paul, my man. Way to go, Paul. And with this vehicle here, I'm dropping you down just in case it can drive that far. We don't want to be out in the open with that machine gun. Okay. Now I've got... I'm thinking about these guys for Boom Blast. I've got to get somebody up top. And Ready? I have two potentials to get up. Whoops. I, I, I really didn't try to have the map go out that far. I have two individuals. One here. And you. How far? Where can you get? So I really do have to take this guy out or we're getting shot because I don't have proper cover. And what kind of weapons? You probably have the most accurate weapon to try and hit this guy. Problem is, like we said, the Mindfragger is turned in an awkward direction. So he'll be able to shoot at us. The only thing we can pray for is the distance. So let's get you up here and see about taking out the Miss Sentinel. And could I just make Ready sure that shot's going to work? Yeah, it's going to be a very doable shot. And oh, we're going to do it. Finger on the trigger. Is that really so the at least we don't have to worry about close-up missed. This one... We're gonna, it's going to mist away, but it's also in a position where hopefully I never have to go back there and deal with the mist. So we'll let that one be. Now another critical, I uh, mean critical shot for us right here. And I don't know if it's a doable shot. Belladonna, we're about to find out. And I need this to work. Because I have some exposed individuals up here. So I need Aiming. this to work. Okay, we do have a chance. And we got it. Okay. Whoo, baby. That, I, I was sweating that. I was sweating bullets on that one. Sweating bullets on that one. Now we got Boom Blast from you, Aramex. Let's hope this pole isn't in the way. You know, my feeling about poles... <laughs> doing it let's go let's go find out where this trajectory goes 
Now I can kind of avoid that pole. Let's get the UI out of the way. I think I can avoid the pole by going for these two guys. He's a claw dude. Let, let's go with these guys with grenades and, and whatnot. They're a little weaker than this guy. He may be able to come over and slash, slash a couple of these. But I, he can't get rid of all three, I hope. So let's try our boom here. All right, I was going to say, don't hit that pole or else Papillon will not be your friend anymore. <laughs> Maybe I should move Papillon back just in case that should happen. And then uh, you'll get your own boom blast. I don't mind a heavy being in the open at this distance against these guys. Of course, there is a sniper, so maybe we would only bring you here for your boom blast. And we'll just kind of bring you similarly back here. You'll only get one grenade and one rocket on yours. And that way, if we accidentally hit that thing, it won't hurt you. Let's see now. Because we've had that happen before. Boy... Have we? Okay, I think those two guys are not feeling so well anymore. And I'm happy about that. Now, we have a rocket. And I am thinking about sending, to be quite honest, Executing. the rocket to try and land on the very top of this thing. What are the odds that we can damage that machine gun? What do you think? Because we could go here. I, I'm just worried about that light post. So we're going to go here in a direction that, yeah, should totally avoid that, that post, that pole. And see if we can get lucky and damage the machine gun. I don't know if we damaged it. But we damaged something. So let's see what we did. Okay, we damaged it. Still has a lot of hit points, but we're we're on our way. When we take out that machine gun, and this vehicle is useless, it is useless if we can do that. Uh, Papillon, we need you to grenade. Oh, let's boom blast first. We need you to grenade, and I'm thinking about hurting this guy this time. Right here. The other thing we could do, but I I'd, I'd rather not make him take all that fall damage and I don't think at his range I'm counting on him not being able to hurt us enough I'm playing the odds ah we did hit a <laughs> shades of season three. Oh well I thought we had gotten over that I'm more aware of that now and I try to avoid things like that now but it sure didn't happen here. So let's damage this guy because he's he's a toughie. I'd like to at least get him hurt and shredded just a little bit. All right, we did kill the one. In fact, we killed them both. So we're we're messing with their will. In fact, what's his will down to? Still hefty. Still dangerous. I can probably kill two of my spider drones. We'll deal with it. All right, what I'm going to do with you is kind of... You've moved your max. I'm actually going to bring you over here. So if we, if this thing does a all-out charge down this path, we're semi-close with a hell cannon. Moving to coordinates. If we're lucky to take it out. The gun out, at least. Oh. Oh, so he that's right. We took the the wow. Didn't expect that. A dangerous Myrmidon down there. Heavy at that distance, not too worried at this point. And it's it's charging. 
Oh, that poor guy. Looks like we rescued him for nothing and we all took a will hit. And there's a frenzy I was expecting. Thank goodness it came late. And we just got to remember she's hiding down there. Ooh, he shot at our infiltrator, so he's obviously seen now, I would guess. Okay, there's one. He should be able to kill two, but not three. And that's what I was counting on. Oh. Well, thank goodness my infiltrator uh, dodged uh, those bullets. You know? <laughs> did a little neo action and was dodging those bullets i i could vi envision that in my mind okay we have a mind fragger down here who's a danger we also have this machine gun that we need to take out i'm going to focus on those two first and who will be best to do that if i come up here i'm prepared we have a nice shot on a machine gun we have in fact a bunch of us that can Probably the most immediate worry is the machine gun. Now, if we put you in between, can you... See, my mind's pop, bopping, hopping and bopping all over the place. Now, if I bring you here, where is, it, is your explosion radius? You, do, you, you will not have the ability to pick them both up. So... And you've got a shield, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and explode his shield with you. Or his, I should say his shield arm. And it looks like we were successful in that effort. So that's good. In fact, both his arms are gone. Does he have a spitterhead? No. Spider drone, congratulations. Now, the next thing we can do then before we run and hide is we will be able to set out this. Switch. And therefore do this Here we go. because there's a siren coming up and I want this out there level one distraction and we're gonna just pull you all the way back uh, if we had one more action I do a I do a decoy and then run you back but I'm not gonna do a decoy and leave you there although look at that it says you're still hidden That's what it says but I'll be danged if these guys weren't shooting at you. So someone somewhere has got to be perceiving you. So I am not going to take a chance. And I'm going to pull you back. Because there were two shots taken against you. Paul. You don't see anything from where you are. According to this. What I can do is bring you here. I'm going to bring you here. We're going to check it out. I'll probably do a quick aim. And we're going to see how much damage if we can nail in that machine gun. We can almost take it out. So you're taking this shot. That means my more forward shot. individuals... I'll only need one more shot for my forward guys. Plus, we might be able to, if we're lucky, take out with one of these guys that mine fragger that's down below. So, uh, let's see. You're probably not the one. Let, let's just see if Amy. we can see it. And if what little damage is left. Yeah, apparently you can't get through to take out the hailstorm. It's not a guarantee. Ready to fire. Identifying target. Um, let's see. Did we did we kill it? Yeah, it made a funny noise. I had a feeling it did, but it didn't look like it exploded or I'm not seeing red on top. All I'm seeing is 
zero will points and zero hit points on that so it's done it is done we did our job hallelujah hallelujah now what I can try 110 and a bash from us doesn't do enough so the the bash is not the answer here uh, what I can do is probably with you take out the mind fragger Felipe and we probably won't be super aggressive moving forward this turn we do have this guy and then this guy's gonna have to move so he's not gonna have much shot against us so we'll try positioning for if he makes himself visible we'll try that next so let's come over here let's see if this has enough oomph and it did to take him out and I think we're gonna move you back to cover okay then I'm thinking about one of us over here so we can shoot this guy he won't have a line of sight on us unless he moves and it'll only be one shot the siren will be moving up so I don't want anybody really near the front where they're easily visible and we're gonna try this chameleon torso we got it he's not hiding on us now now yeah can't get you over here. Hmm. So I can't get a shot on him. Well, we have boom blasters. I'm trying to think what the best thing to do with my heavies will be. I might, with one of you, jump over here and war cry just to hold this guy back. And then after that, we might be able to uh, bash this thing off of him if he gets close enough to us. So, we still doesn't answer what we need to do against that guy. If I move you here, standing in the open, you can see the guy. I can move you down here, though, which is probably better cover to see the guy. Because if he's war cried, you can't, you can't, he can't flank you then. So we're bringing you down here, Belladonna. Moving out. You really got to look at your speed, is what I'm saying. All right, so neurally, we're protected. We're going to keep you there. As far as a pistol shot, that really, I don't want to waste it on someone who's going to retreat. Tell you what, we're going to pistol shot this way against a Myrmidon. Landing on the roof. Now, Papillon, let's see about how far you can jump. And the question becomes, is that going to be close enough to war cry him? Let's find out. Yeah, there's a ladder here. And he's war cried, so uh, we're, we're, not, we're not too concerned at the moment. That means it's probably safe to run another heavy up here. Is there anybody else close by we have to deal with? We're going to have to deal with him. This will get us both closer for boom blasts. We got a sniper up here that's my biggest worry. And I like the idea of let's jump forward, but not far enough forward. Well, we might be in line of sight for mind control here. That does worry me just a little. Half cover, half cover. I'm thinking of coming here, hoping she's distracted by the spider drones when she climbs up. The question is, can she jump or does she have to come over to a ladder? And if so, where is the nearest ladder? It's over here. Uh, we're going to take the chance that she can't jump and she needs a ladder. Some of you are probably hollering because you know whether she le needs a ladder or not. Uh, we're gonna come up here. I could come here, I don't think. That is cover. 
We have to worry about her, but if she needs a ladder, she might be close enough for a war cry. I know it'll show that I have one for this guy, but let's kind of get an idea. It's like oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, I don't know if her being underneath will qualify, but it's close enough that I'm going to try. Not, nope, not quite. Oh well, we're gonna save the war cry and uh, cross our fingers. We'll back up. Felipe, we're gonna keep you there. I'm worried about the sniper now that I think about it. It might have might have been better, but at his height, that wouldn't have been much cover for you. So I, it probably doesn't make that much of a difference. Now we got you. We would love to run forward a little bit, but if I'm going to run you forward, I want cover. So we're going to use this cover. And that's it. Everybody's moved. Everybody's done. Let's cross our fingers. We have to survive again. Dilla runs away and is gone. That's a big relief. Looks like that acid myrmidon is still down in the trench. The heavy is still distant, so I'm not too worried there yet. That's what I'm worried about, and it may. <sighs> they missed. Oof. Thank goodness for that railing. Now she's frenzying. She's like the last one to move. She's got to learn how to frenzy better. That's all I have to say. And it doesn't know. It's hard for us to tell whether she moved or not. Because all we heard was a frenzy. And this Myrmidon's frenzied now too, so that worries me. One thing I'm gonna do is I have the heavy over here for a reason, and that is to bash this thing off. On the double. All right. We have a soldier on our side. And you, I don't know, I don't think I wanna get you back on that roof. I think we're just gonna stay right down here till we both get movement next turn. All right, would be helpful to get Sniper probably back on the roof and ready for these guys. Uh, do I have a way with my spider drones? Yes, I can get one over the edge. So let's get it over the edge. And nice miss on the overwatch. And guess what we can do? You think you're hiding? Nay, nay. All right, in fact, you know what's gonna happen? You wanna know how many spider drones are coming down here right now? Well, let me tell ya. <laughs> let me tell ya. In fact, I think I'll only send two because the other one is coming right here to damage this thing because it's an acid thing. I would like, if we get lucky, we'll take out a wing, we'll take out a body, we'll, we'll, we'll hurt it. And all we did is all around damage. No one, no one body part gone. We're gonna come down here for the siren next. You know, you can run, but you can't hide. Now, let's start thinking about our best courses of action here. Um, I'm gonna send out more spider drones, plop them right where we had them. I need a plan against this sniper. And right now, I don't think I have a whole heck of a lot of individuals. 
In fact, nobody. You can see that sniper on the roof. Oh, because it's them. Wait, let, let's see. Yeah, that's, that's the sniper that we need to find. And nobody's going to have an easy line of sight on that sniper. I'm thinking of bringing you way over here to get you back on the roof. It's either that or bring you over this way. And I don't know what's the best move. I think I'm going to play it safe because you are a sniper. I want to keep you back. But if their sniper comes to the edge, hopefully we can get a shot to shoot that thing off. In fact, we got to worry about this other one, this heavy back here as he moves closer. So we have another sniper far back here. Let's go back here. And how far can you maneuver? Yeah, that's not a good place to maneuver. We can bring you here. You're not going to have any immediate shots, but if this heavy keeps charging forward, you might be able to help us out with this heavy. So we're going to run you up here, Paul. All right, Cecil. I don't know if you have the ability to shoot that far accurately, so we're going to find out. So, who can you see? Anybody worthwhile? I'd say a sniper is a worthwhile shot, and he just has regeneration, right? Yeah. So, let's see. Let's let's do a little quick aim, keeping you right where you are. Target it. Ooh, it looks like we went low. Let's try again. Yeah, 30% malfunction. Since we missed the first one, we're not going to try it for the second shot. Oh, he's looking at us now. Shoot for between the eyes. Very good. In fact, his head is bleeding, so I think you hit him between the eyes. <laughs> How about that? He put up his arm to block the shot, and you went through his arm and between the eyes. That's what I'm going to say, anyway. Let's see. We were talking. We need to reload. We need to step over here. Rolling. And we need to shoot out some spider drones yet again. I think we have one more reload. That's not enough actions. We're going to step out of I'll the way. Right there. Um, I'm curious now. I think we have I one more set of spider drones. Yes, we do. So, Just wanted that in the back of my mind. Ramex. My man. I don't necessarily want to bring you over here yet. But I also know you're going to get shot at <laughs> from that sniper on the roof if I don't. So I think we're going to bring you to this cover. You'll just be a jump away from getting up there. And maybe even from this distance, we can put a hole in that wall. We're going to bring you over here. There's a chance we could uh, try shooting something and lobbing something over the edge, but we're not. We're going to keep you right there. Felipe, thinking about bringing you forward. We got to worry about the sniper that's out there, but I also need to start working you forward little by little also. So let's, let's try this spot. I don't think we have to worry about any overwatches that I'm aware of. And we see an egg. I'm going. That's fine. And you have a shot. Let's see. We have a shot on the guy that's useless. We have a shot back here, maybe? Shall we see what it looks like? He doesn't want to stop moving. There we go. We got some acid on him. Thanks for your help. Hermon, it'd be nice to bring you forward a little bit too, wouldn't it? We could bring you this far for a shot. Advancing. 
And hopefully with that sniper on the roof, that mist sentinel is going to block you a little bit. We'll find out soon enough. We're coming over here. See if we can't take care of this other sniper we know about. There we go. Cross your fingers. Oh, are we close? Oh, I didn't think we were close enough for a swipe, but oh, I started worrying. Ooh. He got a big hit on us. Now the heavy's down in the trench. Once again, doing a late frenzy. It's a venomous variety that just entered. Oof. And the sniper missed. Now, we have an injury here. That is uh, not a nice one. We do change around. We can get. And fortunately, both arms are good. So I can do... So I need help. So I, I have... An answer with only 120 there. I know we can take him out. I got I got plenty of ways to take this guy out. You know, I sure do. In fact, I think this window is a nice position to take this guy out from. Even though it says, weirdly enough, I don't see him. That's just that's just, just bizarre. But it says I don't see this guy. Okay. I don't see this guy. I can come out here, and if I'm lucky, I can jump back. Let's find out. Except... I'm not guaranteed to take out that machine gun. So we're, 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 we're going to wait a sec and think about this just a little bit. I'm here. You don't have dash. Well, how useless is that? Uh, we're going to try taking a shot over here from you. We may experience return fire. Engaging. We were out of range. Good. That's what I was hoping. Because then... Ready. You see that? Oh, you can see that guy? I doubt you have a good enough shot, Aiming. but, you know... Uh, I don't think it's good. So that window ended up being a crappy place <laughs> to have moved. I mean, a real crappy place to have moved. Well, not necessarily. Let's come here. And this guy's fairly hefty. And since the heavy moved down there, all we can do is come out Moving wide now. for you. And uh, quick aim. And do we see that sniper on the roof? Let's find out. We're going to try. And it was a failed try, but we tried. Whew. I could come down, and a bash would take him out, but that would leave the heavy in the open. So one of my spider drones can finish this guy. And uh, what we can do here is this. I need. We are going to heal yourself first. And before I do that, let me just see what the... Yeah, that's we're, we're not using that one. We're in too tick, tricky of a situation at the moment, so I will move our med kit there. 
and we will heal ourselves. Then we will take a shot, and I have no onslaught with you, Felipe. Doggone it! <laughs> that was part of my plan, is to be able to use onslaught. Well, we can just run away. But then that guy's gonna move towards us. And we don't have someone that will be able to see him. Hmm. Let's just see what our shot here oh, for you sick. is. Did we have a non-armored spot that we can just blast away. Well, the fun of being right next to somebody. So we even if we hit in a not not so armored spot. We don't take him out. So if I did that and then I jumped you through the window. I'm here. So that shot from there, we can take this guy out. Yeah, in fact, you can make it that far. So we have two shots on this guy. Question, oh, oh actually that's cover. So uh, it doesn't matter if I take out the sniper or not. So let's bring you out here, Felipe, to finish. On my way. Let's get this shot going with the shotgun. We're doing it in the arm, so he drops his shield, makes it easier for Felipe. <gasps> Very good. Felipe, it's your turn. We gotta finish this guy out. Okay, that problem is solved. This problem is solved this way. Oh, he's panicked? Let's let him panic. And let's come down here to something more important then. And we got the head bleeding. We got the claws bleeding. Is there anything she can do? Oh, acid. Possibly acid. No, the acid torso's gone. Injector arms, inflicting viral damage, zero, zero, zero. So this is, that's the first time I think I've seen a useless siren on the field. She can't do a thing to us. Woohoo! That means we can do this. Oh, I can't get close enough to this thing. Well, doggone it. He moved a little farther away, smart guy. Hmm. Well, we can take this guy out even though he's going to panic. So, cuz it's, it's it's not the end of the world. So, let's do that. Uh oh. I hope we can take out the sniper cuz part of our cover is gone now. Uh we're going to give you a chance to take out the sniper or I should say the minefragger on the sniper. Well, we hurt the guy pretty bad, but we took it out. Let's go take a look at our new sniper up here. And the health, is, uh, you know, it could be worse. At least it's under our control. Now all we got left is the heavy down here who's going to be popping forward. You don't have to worry about the sniper shot anymore. Do you have anything else you can shoot at? Guess what? Just because we can, let's shoot at the mist. Oh. Then again, let the mist do his thing because he's a long ways away. Let's try to hurt this guy. Oh, I, I can see that just a little high. Papillon, time to get you back in action. And by back in action, I do, oh, this I feel that guy's a little bit of a concern. Will he see us up here? Is he acid? So he's going to bite us with acid, which could be worse if he does a single bite. We're going to keep you farther back here. Then you'll be close enough to jump down and start blasting away.
Let's just see if you have a shot on that wall. That's what I want to find out. Is it a doable shot on this wall from here? You know, it just might be. Let's try it. Our first panel, where we're going to need to get. Oof. So we've only opened a little window, but we're going to take, we're going to need more shots over here, but that's a start. We're out of ammo. Sweet. We got our Let's last spider this. drones to send out. That is, once we step over here. Here we go. We have you, Belladonna. I'm leaning towards bringing you forward, so when the heavy comes up, you're in a better position to help us. Moving in rather than go against that Miss Sentinel, as much as I despise them. And then I'm thinking of sending my spider drone down here to hopefully catch this guy's eye so our heavies don't have to worry. Now let's see what happens. Okay, so eggs have been hatched. <laughs> I guess the fact that we rattled his building made him realize he needed to hatch his eggs. Good, good, good. He fell for it. Except he ran away from the other spider drones, so we'll see if we're in range or not. We didn't even get a chance to move him away. Those Myrmidons like the trench, don't they? Myrmidons like the trench. We're going to try and see what our shot is against yet another. Oof. Can we step you up on something? to improve your aim so we can see just a little bit more of that thing. We can get you up here, but if we don't take off that thing, shall we try again, Cecil? Ooh, no quick aim. I need an angle. That was never an easy shot now, was it? Oh. <laughs> That's all I had to say is challenge you by saying, Never was an easy shot now, was it? Now, the other Minefragger is down below, so there's no known Minefragger to take him over yet again. And that's probably what set this thing off down underneath, is the fact that this guy was back under our control and so near the corruption node. That's probably why the hatching happened. All right. Well, now. Good job, Cecil. We have some spider drones to deal with. And those spider drones. And this guy never... Maybe if we send the spider drone down here, we're going to locate that heavy. Well, there's the heavy. He's going to get hurt from this explosion, though. If we're lucky, so does the minefragger on his face. Nope. That minefragger is staying tough. We got the guy's wings gone. You know, we, we may have to play the explode the guy. I mean, I could bring the, the thing here. Maybe we'd get the spider drone. He's hurting. He's a heavy. <sighs> Sorry, guy. I got to get rid, rid of some of these Myrmidons. Mm. Nope. Spider drones. I mean, uh, Mindfragger's heavily on him. He's lost an arm. He's useless to us anyway. He can't move. He's stuck down there. We won't, we won't outright kill him. And we can't get down to this other one. What we can do is come out here 
and shoot a mine fragger. can do is start moving forward. Um, I'm a little worried about the, uh, as we said, I'm a little worried about the other Myrmidon down here. So I'm going to bring a spider drone here, unexploded, see if he can draw him over yet again. Cross our fingers. Can you jump down over the edge? Absolutely not. So... Really now? Am I that limited in how you can jump because of that sign? <laughs> the advertisement has limited our ability to move. Let's forget about moving then. And let's look about shooting. Right there. And see if we can blast through a wall. I went through the hole in the wall. What were the odds of that with a hell cannon at that distance? Uh, we're going to start moving, moving you forward. I see them. Wow, we can see the node now. Let's go. Wouldn't that be great if you went through the hole in the wall and you hit the node? Doesn't look like it happened, but it was a nice thought. So that means I'm going to jump you. We're coming right here for you. And we'll start moving you. Let's see if we got these poles in the way, but if we step you over to this side, that'll start giving you a free shot, a fair shot, a good shot. And uh, we'll start bringing ourselves to the front edge here with our snipers. Let's show them what we can do. Because we're going to need to get our snipers to be able to shoot through at this guy at some point, too. Yes, I'm worried about other things that are down there. So we'll start Let's this first. This. And we're going to do a little overwatch against uh, Myrmidons. Paul, we don't have to worry about that sniper from on high. I don't see anybody that can shoot us over here. Repositioning, prioritizing speed. Now we got you guys. Thinking about coming over here. We got to start getting ready to blast a corruption node. And you'll be able to take shots. It says you're still hidden. Just in case uh, Myrmidon gets away from us, we're going to do this. Hermon, we're moving you over this way. So you'll be able to take shots. And what do we got left? Spider drone's done. Let's see what happens. Maybe our sniper on the roof got affected by that, but I don't know. A regular Myrmidon, it looks like. And he avoided the overwatch. All right. Do we have a plan? And we're going to come forward with this plan. <laughs> And we have no more distractions for those Myrmidons down in the trench anymore. So we got to be mighty careful. But I am going to move forward so we can better shoot the Hell Cannon. And shoot through this wall. Or 
We have a hole. Let's hit the corruption node. It worked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, heck yeah. It worked. Uh, with you, Aramex, let's see what your shot looks like from here. I think you're going to focus more on the wall itself. Oh. Well, once again, you're, you're mastering hitting through the hull and not hitting the corruption node. So I think we're going to try lining you up a little better Moving and a little out. closer next time. And let's see if anybody else has shots on the corruption node and see what they look like. Ready to fire. Acid on the guy. It's funny, we can clearly see him, but it doesn't say that we can. All right, now I'm a little worried about some of these things here. Actually, a mind fragger could have the ability to get a little close to us here. So. A decoy help in this situation or not? That's what I want to know. Let's just see what your shot looks like from here. Yeah, not 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 amazing. Let's come forward. How does that taste? We're just gonna keep wearing it down best we can. Because let's face it, ultimately what ends this mission is killing this thing. We have some threats down in the trench that could become an issue for us. So what I'm going to do is come over this way because you can't get lined up for a shot yet anyway. And we'll just kind of do a sweeping overwatch in case something tries to attack us. And Cecil. I think it's time to get you lined up too. I'm gonna try dashing. Belladonna. Is Overwatch better or getting you lined up? We're, we're, we're doing Overwatch. I feel like maybe one more Overwatch would be a wise choice. Oh, oh, how about that? A little worried about mind fraggers. Enemy ahead. Not worried about worms in our general vicinity. Moving. Let's jump that face up. All right. And we'll back off. Let's go. Now we have our sniper. There's nobody on the roof. What can we see upon high that might help us out? Well, we might be able to see a Myrmidon. Looks dangerous. What we might be able to see. I don't know if you have any will left. I forgot to check that. And you do not. So we'll take a couple pistol Let's shots. Just get it over with. This place stinks. <laughs> I, I imagine it might. Not enough. Okay, reinforcements hopefully too little too late. Oh, good shot. That saved Ramex right there. Uh, 
a little worried about that. We're going to hope, we are absolutely going to hope that we can take out the node this turn. Okay, let's go find out. Papillon, you're first. This better work. I think I got in some That damage. was important. Ramex, I think if I bring you here, that may line us up. Let's try. Moving. Preparing to fire. Except we're going to turn you around in this direction. Let me back off so I can tell where I'm sh where I'm looking. Oh, we're lo we're looking in the wrong direction. Let's keep going this way. There we go, and we got a pole in the way. So I'm thinking uh, we can't move anymore, so we're just going to do your Hail Mary. And back off so I can do this spin one more time. Well, the pole's out of the way. Thank you, sir, for everybody else. Taking aim. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see it. As usual, that was tough. All right, items are recovered. Nice pay, oh my God, nice payoff that we needed drastically. That was awesome. All right, we got it back and take a look at that, my friends. 10 disruption points out of 16 now. Come on, turn this into a corrupted haven, Abaddon. Would you please help us out? Would you please? So we're going to keep these ships here for the moment. Uh, we definitely probably are going to have to start looking at stamina soon. But for the moment, we're keeping them there. 19 hours, we have a base defense here. The other thing uh, we talked about last time, you gave me some feedback. Uh, a few of you did. Uh, I'm going to focus on the Citadel with the contaminant. It's just a long way to go north, south, back and forth with the Tiamat. It just ain't speedy. So we're going to send the Tiamat here to start exploring here, here. Maybe we'll get lucky and find some materials and whatnot, and then we'll take on the Citadel. So my best guess is next time it's going to be a base defense. And then uh, we all, we, well, we're often surprised, but you'll have to come back next time to find out if we will be surprised. I hope you enjoyed today's mission. I was excited that we made it. A little worried there a couple moments along the way, but we pulled it off. This is Zigzag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I do hope to see you next time.